How's it going everybody? I am back to do more MK videos. So the game is now finally out for everybody to access. So for this one, I want to focus on the designs for all the characters. So I want to go through like each of the designs and rate them based on how they how they're designed here. So let's start all the way with Katana. So oh wait, no 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 no. Photo mode, photo mode. Yeah. Photo mode for like the whole design. So I will say, it, I liked, I honestly thought the one we had in 11 was great, because it felt like a really great redesign. Not the, not the Revenant one, the other one that has the, uh, that has her alive in her MK2 form. I will say with this one, I feel like it's per, it's a perfectly modernized one, especially for like the royalty side. I think this one as well, with like the, uh, the silver parts. I think they did well with it, so I'd say it doesn't like scream big. It's like I've, I'm not sure about the hair, because like the hair threw me off a little, but also the mask as well. Because uh, hold on, how do I like check the mask? Oh, hold on. It was like it was like wait, can I pan up to like the mask? Hold on, how do I like get up to the mask? Okay, yeah, because like it's weird. I thought that it would like. Touch like part of the veil, like make it like a veil in a way to like have it connect with it, because like it looks a bit odd for like just being like a normal mask, because it's not like the scorpion where they have like a big strap connected. But I think they did fine with it. It's like I'd say it's like an eight. It's definitely like an eight. Um, Melina's though, yeah. Look, they actually do it for her, where like the mask is fully connected to her neck, so that actually works. I will say. It does look like she has, like, a bit more armor on her legs, which is interesting, but... I also do like the ponytail, though. I, I honestly thought the ponytail works more with Katana as well. I think both do it as well better, because, uh... It does also make them look like twins. I kind of wish both of them did keep ponytails. Like, someone makes similarities to each other, but it's fine. I, I think they did good with that. I'd say... I'd say it's, like, a 9. Definitely, like, a 9 with this one. And then Tanya. Honestly, I know a lot of people were like um, divided on how they did the hairstyle this time around, but I will say, I kind of I'm really digging the hair. I'm really digging how they did the hair for this character. I think they did well with it. It looks very great. Cause like I also like how it like loops around. I like I like how it like has like different loops. Cause like let's see, there's like one two, three, and then four, and then you have, like, the, like, the headpiece as well. I think that is also sick. I like that as well for the outfit, but, uh, it's very similar to, like, Katana's, though, and, like, Melina's, but, uh, I'd say, just for you, because it's, like, so similar, and we, we've already seen, like, the other ones, I'll say, like, yeah, I think it's, like, still an eight as well. I think a lot of them are, like, doing well, very well. Now, Reigns, Reigns, I'm, like, divided on, because with Rain, I'm used to him being, like, a full-on ninja, and then, like, the wizard part. I thought I was gonna like the wizard part, but then, for, like, certain areas, it's, like, it somewhat works, but, like, because, like, I feel like the torso works, but then, like, the leg out part of it, it doesn't really, but... I, a lot of his outfits, I feel, are a lot better because of how, like, the, uh... Because he has, like, the ponytail sometimes, as well as different, like, traits for, like, his character. I think they do a lot better with, like, um, his outfits based on, like, his Armageddon design than compared to here. So, I'd say... Seven. I'd say, like, a seven for him. Seven out of ten. And then, Smoke. Now... The amount of people I hear just say the, the hairstyle, like, the big thing, that was the big thing for this character, is, like, I just see the hairstyle for this, and I'm like, oh my gosh. Because, well, honestly, I will say, I, it's starting to grow on me, but then when you see the mask off, it's like, oh. But, yeah, he does, the face model looks good without it, but, uh, I do like how this mask is designed, because, like, it's almost like a... A gas mask in a way. I, I like that feature a lot. I I like that a bit more 
as well as compared to like the hairstyle he had for MK9, where it's all wavy, I, it's like a bit toned down, which I'm fine with. So I'd say, well, based on like the the other app, because like it's so pretty much similar to like Scorpion and Sub Zeros, but uh, it's not really as big. So I'd say. 7.5. It's like a 7, but then, like, the air gas mask makes it go up a bit more. Now, Scorpion. Yeah, I feel like Scorpion... It, it, Scorpion's is okay. It's like a 7. It doesn't really have, like, anything big. I, I am surprised, though, that they did keep the uh, MK11 mask. That was, like, the... I'd say, like, that was the one thing that stayed, was, like, the MK11 mask. I'm, like, I'm not sure... I'm not sure there's like any other differences between this and the other masks from like previous games. Cause like, I've not seen like any other difference. If you guys see like a difference between this and like the 11 mask, please let me know. Cause like it's very hard to tell. Cause like if I, I can't even zoom in anymore. Cause it really doesn't look as different. Now, Sub Zero, I will say like there's one difference between all of them is that he has like shoulder pads that like. That change it up. I'd say, like, that's the one thing that makes it different. But also, I'm surprised that he doesn't have, like, the Grand Master uh, emblem for him. Because, like, that's something he would normally have because as Grand Master of the Lin Kuei that they always did for his outfit. They, uh, they did that for his Deadly Alliance attire. They also did it for Deception. And I think they also did it for MKX. They always give him a that medallion that certifies that he's the Grand Master of the Lin Kuei. So I'm surprised. Uh, sorry, I'm surprised they didn't wait. Is this it? Or no, no, no. Wait, hold on. Does he have it on his arm? Let me see. They put it. Is it supposed to be on his arm? I hmm, I'm not sure about that. It's, I'd say it's also a 7.5. I really, I kind of wish it was on his shoulder pad, but then again, he also has this, the one that's already on it, like the pin, which is a bit weird. It's like, it's like this one pin that's like right there and that's it. That's like certifies that he's from the Lin Kuei. I mean, like, I feel like it could also work if it was on the back or, oh, he also has something on his back, but I'm guessing that's not the same thing. But yeah, 7.5. Now, Reptile. The mysterious, this whole look, the thing that keeps throwing me off is, like, the back part, like, the, like, the, the cloths that he has around him. Because, like, the way the cloth looks, it makes it look like he has his, like, tail hanging around, which is interesting because, like, when you see some of his moves, you'll see him, like, do a sweep with his tail. So it kind of looks like he has, like, a tail still, even when he transforms. And wait, can I even... Dang, I was hoping, like, is there any way to just make him transform here? Because, like, wait, let's see. No, okay, there's no way to, like, make him transform here. But I will say, the full-on reptilian form is, like, a 10 out of 10. I will give that form a 10 out of 10, and then I'd say this is, like, a, uh... This one, let's see. Also, hold on, does he have the keys? Oh, because he was Shang, he was the jailer for uh, Shang Tsung, so yeah, I can see how that works, but uh, yeah, it's very solid, along with the reptilian designs, as well as, oh, I just noticed the shoulder pads, it's like, it's kind of like he has scales from like his reptilian form, so yeah, I think I'll also give him a 10, so he's like both a 10 on like his reptilian form and the... Uh, and his normal form. Now, Li Mei... Wait, did I change the color for her? Whoops, hold on, wait. Can I change it back? I don't even remember changing it. Uh... With hers, it's more... Her outfit's more supposed to be like a, uh, a bodyguard in a way. And I kind of wish they tried to keep some traits from, uh... From, M from like, the 3D era ones. Because, like, she had... Like, an armor-based one, and, like, a full-on kung fu one. I kind of wish they somewhat kept, like, some something like that. Because, like, 
with this design, it was like very hard to tell who who it was right off the bat. Because like, I know I said it was I was asking like the second I saw her was a was I said is it Lee May? And then it turns out that it was when Liu Kang said it in the trailer. But it's like a six. I I, I I it's a fine design, but they really didn't like say much just to distinguish who it really is. Um, outside of like the outfit, because like, I I kind of wish that she had that headband as well. She had like a good headband or like helmet in her deception outfit, so I kind of wish that stayed. Now, Kenshi. My problem with Kenshi's is that it's very similar to like the outfit that he had for X. I think it, it's way too similar to the X design. I'd say it's like, he's a bit younger, but it's a bit similar. I kind of like the ninja pants that he has, somewhat has going on, or like the samurai pants, because I've seen that type of pants design on uh, Yoshimitsu from Soul Calibur, so that's at least something, but it's like a six. I kind of wish um, they made it a bit more interesting. I feel I kind of wish it was more like the... I, I'm hoping they actually add this attire, but I'm hoping they actually add the attire that he had in uh, in Snowblind. I think that would be a good fit. Now, Baraka? Honestly, the way the outfit looks, it reminds me a bit more of how he looked in Deception. I do like the the tattoo the tattoo he has on this side, because, no, not on that side, but yeah, look. I know everyone, I didn't even bring that up, but all the, everyone, almost everybody got a tattoo, but I kind of like the tattoo he has, but yeah, I kind of wish this man had a bit more for the outfit. It's simple, but it, yeah, there isn't really much. I think everything with Barack is always like a simple design, so I'll give it like i I'll give it a seven. It's not like crazy or anything. There is his... Yeah, it's another thing with Garrus. It's like mainly like a shoulder pad, and that's it. I don't. Even, I mean, like, let me see. He kind of also has a tattoo. It's yeah, it's just a six because like it's not as I'd say like it's somewhat. They made they did make him slim, um, compared to like how Buffy was in Eleven, but yeah, that's not. There's that's pretty much it. Cause like he only has like the pants, and that's it. So nothing else. So. Let's move over to Shang Tsung. I'm surprised that they really went with yellow for his outfits now, because I'm, I'm re I was used to him being like, actually, yeah, he was yellow. He had a yellow outfit for MK2 and MK3, but then uh, when we got to Deadly Alliance, he went to red, and then we, yeah, we, they brought back the red for when you fight him in, uh, when you fight him in the final boss of, like, the ladder and for story. And you also see him wear red for MK9 and his, yeah, in his, like, default outfits. But with the yellow, it's starting to grow on me. I didn't even expect this, but I also like the claws he has. The claws are actually interesting. I can't, I'm kind of impressed on how the claws look with this. And the, uh... The hairstyle he has as well, it somewhat reminds me of how he looked in the 2021 movie. So, I, 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 the only other thing I will say though, it's like, I think there's a bit too much. I'm not sure. I feel like there's a bit too much. I feel like it could have just been like a, a robe more, just like more of a robe in a way than like less detail. I think it was like, Fine. I'd say it's, I'd say like 8.5. I'm gonna give it an 8.5. Ciao. Ciao. <sighs> that way, I gotta check, so. Oh yeah, you can't even change the helmet this time. The, the big thing that ruins it for me is the fact that the horns are like actually part of his body. The horns being a part of the body really puts the score lower. Cause like, as well as the helmet, I'm not sure how to feel about the helmet at all. Cause like, the helmet is, 
it's very hard to like keep track of the helmet because like it looks like an ordinary helmet compared to like the other helmets he had in the past because i'd say the, this helmet reminds me of his decept alternate outfit in deception and then that's it it's really not appealing i i kind of wish they try to like make it a bit more of a skull than like a uh a soldier helmet so it's it's really a four. I'm, I'm sorry, Shal. I, I got put you at a four. You, you really did not get a good one for this time. Zendel? I don't... I'm not even sure. Wait, did I... Wait, did I put the gear on? Or yeah, that's part of the default, but... I don't know how to feel about, like, the... The headpiece. I, I'm debating on, like, the headpiece. I will say, I'm glad to have, like, the actual hairstyle back, finally. But... Hmm. Oh, it's, I'd say... Seven. I'd say, like, a seven. I think they... It's... It's simple? It's, like, simple. It's simple, but, like, distinguishing. Like, you'll know, like, it's Sindel, just based off this design. Now, Reiko. The thing I always thought about when I uh, looked at like his face was that I thought it was a, I thought it was a type of mask. I thought it was because like if you see his MK4 design, you would see like he had eye silhouettes. So it kind of like makes it look like he had a mask in a way, like similar to like those masks you would collect in. Uh, DC Universe Online. It made me think of those, where he had, like, that type of mask. It also made me think of, like, he looked like Robin in a way, without, like, the face paint is designed. It, it makes me think he's Robin from, like, um, with his, uh, design. Which I kind of like. I thought that would be good for him to, like, have a mask like that, and then just, like, have the eye silhouette. I think that would have been good and, like, interesting, but... I'd say, oh my gosh, it's even weirder when he blinks. I wish this man had silhouettes. Uh, I will say, though, out of all the characters, with him, I'd say the Armageddon outfit really made um, a great impact on his design. Because, like, compared to, like, the other one with MK4, it was not there. But then when you just see this, this is where the appeal really starts to hit. And I'm so happy for that. So I have to, like, give him respect for that. So I'll give him a 7.5 for his uh, outfit but the face i kind of wish they like at least appealed a bit more actually you know what eight i'll just give him an eight i'll be the fair eight now raiden i kind of i, I kind of like the jacket i kind of like the the wardrobe he has it's more of more so like his mk1 outfit but yeah, it's like a very simple, so I'll give it a 7. It's a 7. Now, Fire God Liu Kang's one. The thing I don't get is... The thing that throws me off is... You can even see it right here. So, if you look at the... If you look at the box art for the game, you'll see... Or, okay, I don't even know how to, like, uh, make it bigger. But, like, if you look at it, you can see that Liu Kang's headband is red here but then when you look at the one in the game it's a different color which i don't really get and yet you can't even change it is the weirder part which throws me off even more it's red and then when you look at the actual version it's not i'm very confused by that it really throws me off but ignoring that i do like the design a lot i like the whole god design that he has it's like it's not even, like, trying to be more, like, Raiden at all. It's, like, actually, like, being his own, um, person still. And not, like, trying to, like, take traits from Raiden at all. I like the robe, wardrobe he has a lot. I think they did well with it. Especially with the tattoos here. Like, look at the dragon markings. These are amazing. I love them a lot. Especially these two symbols at the top. They did well. I will give him... I'll give him a 9. I'd say like a 9 at least. Now, Johnny's... What I'm also surprised by is that it's not even like the outfit that he had like on the uh, 
on the website. Cause like with the website, he had kind of like a uh, what I'd say a stuntman outfit. But the outfit here, I'd say it's trying to like make him more like his movie design, which is fine. I think that's fine. But I'd say it's like kind of ordinary. But it's it's cool. It's cool. I'd say like seven, maybe seven or I'd say like six point five. I'd say more of a 6.5, because, like, he has other outfits that are, like, much more unique. Because I, let me see here. I think I have, do I have another one here? Because, like, yeah, now this one, though. Yeah, now that one is blazing. And then the John claude Van Damme one, I know I wasn't going to raid, like, other outfits, by the way. I was going to, like, raid primary outfits, but I will say the John claude Van Damme one is cool. I like this one, especially since it's also giving him the MK1. Um, look, so I'll give that one a 9. I'll give that one a 9 for making him, like, the MK1. I'm... It's really hard to say how I feel about Kung Lao's, because... Honestly, I will say, though, thank goodness they didn't make him bald. They gave him the ponytail look, which I am happy about, but... I feel like something is missing for some reason. I don't know why. I feel like there is, like, one element missing from the outfit. Because I, it's, like, I, I don't have a problem with it. Because, like, it looks somewhat close to the... Or, no, it doesn't. It really doesn't look like the one from MK9. I wish it was the MK9 one is the problem. Because, like, the MK9 one just looks so good. And then... I'd say with this one, it has a bit more appeal because, like, if that one's almost close to MK9. They do keep the dragon marking as that he always has on, like, some of his outfits, but... Yeah, uh... I don't know. I do, however, like, though... I do like the... Hold on, where is it? It's his cameo version. Let me bring out the cameo. I wasn't gonna... I'll, I won't rate the cameos, but still, look. I honestly like this more. I honestly like this more. I'd say, like, this one is, like, a 9, and then the other one's a 7. Just because, like, a gives him more of a classic look, so that's why. Now, Ashura... The hair is starting to grow on me. The, the way they did the hair is starting to grow on me. The big thing I didn't realize, though, and the thing that threw me off is how the eyes look. And I'm not even sure I can't even show it, but, like, but you can see that she has, like, eye pupils. They're just very dark, which is just so hard to see. Because there was a cutscene where they show it off. Like, if you look very closely in her story chapter, then you can see that she has eye pupils. So, that's... It's interesting how they did the eyes. I, I feel it could have been normal, but it's all right. Because I think because they wanted to like make her more demon-like, which they do succeed. Because the markings they do on her face work, and they do keep it with her design or his design. I do wish though she had the hat. I wish she had the hat. If it was a hat, if she had the hat, it would have been ten out of ten. Um. I will give her eight. Eight at least. Or yeah, eight. Natara? Yeah, this one. I kinda wish they got the eye patch, is all I'll say. I kinda wish they added the eye patch and the headband from her outfit. Cause I do like the the dress. The dress looks fine. The dress, I say, is fine. But... Wait, what about the hair? Wait, let me see the hair real quick. So... Hold on, wait. Let me go to the hair real quick. So... She has a headband? She has a headband? Hold on, so... Just like a headband that fully doesn't connect... And it's by the crap. Hold on. That's a... I don't know how to feel about that one. It's a, It's like... It's a weird... 
headband in a way because it fully connects to her head, but it stops. I, I think it would have been fine if it connected. Is all. I'd say. I'd say seven. I'd say seven or seven point five. I'll do seven point five now. Lastly, our boy Reiko. They definitely did well with making his design. And was he leaking? Or oh no no, that's that wasn't him. It, it, it wasn't leaking. I thought it was him leaking, but it was just the background. I was, <laughs> I was about to say, I'm like, wait, what is going on with this man? But I think he could have been more like disfigured on like parts of his body. And when you see, start to like fully see how he is, I kind of wish he had the chaos eyes. The hairstyle, I'd say, is fine. Because I, I, it's a more of a modern hairstyle, so I'll, I'll give him that. But I think I also had like the ponytail in it somewhere. No, I don't have the ponytail. I thought I had the ponytail somewhere, but... I'd say... I'd say... Seven point no eight. I'll give him eight. I'll do eight. So yeah, I'd say eight. So I definitely think Shang. Shang definitely got a good outfit. Liu Kang definitely got a good outfit. Reptile definitely had one as well. And uh Melina as well. A lot of them got great outfits, and then a lot of them did get simple. They got simple outfits for a new entry. They definitely went with a way where these are like the first time you'd be seeing these characters, which is understandable because this is the new era. They want to introduce them with a uh, with a, a first appearance type of way, which is good. I think they did fine with each of the characters. So I think that's all I ended. So that is going to be it. Let me know how y'all feel about each of the outfits. And what you want me to cover next. So thank you all for watching. And be sure to subscribe for more. And I'll see you all soon.